After losing three of the last four games, we need to talk about how this season turned into such a disappointment for Lincoln Riley and USC. Let me give you some numbers that illustrate how incomplete this USC team is through 10 games. Right now, they are 119th in total defense. Further breaking that down, they are 121st in scoring defense, averaging 34 points per game for their opponents. Additionally, they are 118th in rush defense and 105th in pass defense. And the sad thing is, these are all worse numbers than they were in the 2022 season. Now I know what you're going to say. Thomas, how is that possible? They had the number four transfer class in the country going into the 2023 season. Of the 15 total transfers that USC got, 11 are on the defensive side. Five of them start, three are backups, and four are third stringers. So theoretically, this team should have been a lot better than they were last year, right? Well, if you've been a follower for a while, you'll know that I had USC outside my top 10 to start the year, and that was considered crazy. But this is the key that nobody has talked about with Lincoln Riley coach teams for years. I made a video about this after the Cotton Bowl, but this season only furthers what I said. This is a list of every single game that Lincoln Riley has lost as a head coach. In games that USC or Oklahoma has lost while he is coached, he is averaging 34 points per game, but letting up 44 points per game. And unfortunately, when you dive into the numbers, it only gets worse for Lincoln Riley. You can see here that he usually loses a bowl game plus some games in conference. So that's that's why I sorted games based on the college football playoffs as well as in-conference games. The style that he plays just does not work for a 12-game season, let alone playing against the best teams in college football. Games in conference that he has lost, he is averaging 33 points per game while giving up 40 points per game and losing by an average of a touchdown. In his three games in the college football playoffs, he is scoring 36 points per game, letting up 54 and losing by an average of 17 or three scores. The reason I was not high on USC coming into this year, even in Lincoln Rally's second year, all these transfers coming in, Caleb Williams is his style of play just does not work. You have to have a top 50 defense to be a top 10, let alone top five team in this league. And if you don't, you can expect at least two or three losses every single year. The great thing about college football is you can have all the pros in the world, but if you do not play a complimentary style of football, you will not win at all. Now, I know this was a long video, but if you have any questions or anything you want me to go over, make sure to put it in the comments and I will respond to it.